So we're getting closer and closer to the middle of our term. We need to definitely get people to like us a little bit more. And I'd like one little big boost of money, a little bit more income. And I think I want to enact this luxury goods tax. Uh, this will, the socialists will like this, but again, it might be driving uh, the rich out of my country. Uh, so we need to watch out for that. But at this point, I feel like this is really all the income we're going to need. Uh, we can really start to invest even further into spending and and other social policies that might kind of help us out in, in some of our issues. Uh, something like AIDS we still need to tackle. Something like unemployment is huge that we need to fix. Uh, so for right now, let's um, let's put this at, I guess, 46%. Socialists are going to like this again. Wealthy or, the wealthy are not. Uh, the wealthy are not. But I get an additional $20 billion out of this. Uh, it doesn't need to be that high. High earnings. Yeah, so we're going to go about 20 billion. Not super high, but let's do that. Um, we have 14 political capital still. We'll, we, we do have a, a quest to, to fulfill. A number of large agricultural comp companies uh, are interested in growing genetically modified. Ooh, food. Ooh, GMOs. We're doing that. Uh, some food can be genetically manipulated to allow for longer shelf life and both disease and uh, herbicidal resistance. Okay, so um, what are some of the does it is going to go into some of the benefits and the the cons, the pros and cons, thus meaning less harmful chemicals in use uh, in use during their product uh, their production. It also is possible for foods to be uh, created with other benefits such as improved vitamin content. Interesting. Ban the sale of GM foods. There's no need for GM foods. The benefits are uh, great for producers, but not for the consumers. We simply do not know enough about long-term effects. Exactly, long-term. I'm only in this for two terms. Boom. <laughs> GMOs, bring them in. Bring them on in. I've actually just did some research on GMOs in my environmental class and uh, in a, at my university. And uh, yeah, there's some pros and benefits. There's definitely some pros and cons to both sides, but... Uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say. What is this political uh, power distribution? Uh, the the liberals are continuing to go down with me, uh, or they're continuing to get mad. So I'm I'm thinking that they might uh they might possibly try to kill me at some point. It's possible. We need to keep them in mind. We don't want them to go down too low, or else uh, they will they will kill me. Prisons, armed police. They really don't like armed police. Ooh, that is going to make religious people really happy if I were to do something about this. But uh, I don't want liberals to go even more down. I might even want to... Well, I mean, nobody likes homelessness. <laughs> so, and homelessness is, is, is a problem anyways. So, unemployment... What is this? Unemployment benefits. So if I were to increase this... This is going to increase poor. It's going to increase the unemployment... But homelessness is going to go down. Really. Socialists like this. Um, right now I'm spending about 43, 41, something like that. Let's go to medium. Let's go about, about right there. So the poor, the poor are going to like this. I guess this is the poor people. Poor people are going to like this, which 15.95% is, uh, no, that's not saying how many poor people are in the country. Okay, never mind. So, socialists like this, that's good. Uh, poverty, poverty goes down slightly. Homelessness goes down. That's what we need right there. I might even spend a little bit more. But then we're going to need to kind of focus on not, not having anyone kill us. Because we're really kind of just saying, screw one side of the country. What if I were to spend about another $20 Because I'm going to get $20 billion anyways from that luxury tax. I'm, I'm willing to make a pretty uh, pretty big leap. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? I mean, liberals are going to like this. Liberals should like this. So let's go to the next turn. We're at zero political capital. So let's see. Crime. Look at that. Crime is in the green now. That is great. Um, and hopefully with time... This unemployment will go down. Superhero, what is this? Superhero? Why would that go? Oh, oh, because the superhero popped up. I see. News stations are buzzing with the report that a caped man. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just keep them. Just keep them happy. Economic forecast. Good news. So there's good economic forecasts. Uh, global economy is on the rise. Debt is almost 
nothing. Um, right now, most of our income is most of our income is from the income tax. I don't want to mess with this though. We need all that money. Corporation tax, uh, patrol, petrol, petrol tax, sales tax. What if we were to increase the sales tax? Uh, poverty, that's only going to help out poverty. Tourism is going to be... No, I don't want to... No, 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 no. I'm going to skip out on that. I don't think so. Okay, so socialists are going up. Everybody is starting to go up. Let's give it some time, but I think homelessness should be slowly on the fall, I think. Immigration. Why is immigration having an impact? Well, either way, why is health still an issue? Health is still so bad here. Obesity. Children's food. This is one of the quests. This is one of those, those quests that I did. Um, is Why is education still bad? Well, I mean, economically, we're fine, right? I know I spent a bunch of money. We are. Let's get people in the school system. We're having we had uncompetitive economy because we have a skill sort shortage, right? Yes, skill shortage. So let's get people university grants. Youth are gonna like this. Education is gonna go up. State employees. So we'll also be getting more jobs out there. Let's do that. Grants for the poor. Yeah, let's do that. And I don't know if I want to do anything else. Uh, I'm not worried about foreign intelligence interference. Yeah, I, I that's something that I, I do not care about right now. Or is everything else okay? I've got 12 uh, political capital still left. And the productivity is, is low. Health is a big contributing factor to this. Still need to work on, 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 on health. Oh, pollution is a really bad thing. Oh, AIDS is what's killing us. I see. <laughs> I see. I, I've already increased science funding, though, man. For an aid. Yeah, see, because I didn't enact that, that program, because I wanted to stay good with the conservatives, uh, that's that's why that went down. Foreign aid received. Can we get more foreign aid, man? Come on. Bring it on in. Bring it on. Bring on the foreign aid. I'm just going to go to the next turn. I, I'm going to adjust. Yeah, I, I, I want to see where we're at here. Uh-oh. Uh, un... Undercover uh, operatives have infiltrated an extremist uh, eco-terror group known as the Warriors of G Gaia? Gaia? I don't know. This organization is committed to striking at the very heart of the government, possibly even a direct assassination attempt, and it is a threat that we should take seriously. There is no in uh, imminent danger, but we should keep the situation under close watch. Okay, so we might want to increase... Uh, the I guess we should look into more maybe environmental policies so that I don't get killed. Probably something I should think about. The budget has 118 billion surplus. This is great. Oil drilling opportunity. Ooh, oil companies are keen to get permission to drill for oil in part of the country protected as a wildlife refuge. Ooh, there we go. So this is how we're going to help out the environmental... Well, this is probably a good policy to enact now. Uh, it's not a policy, I know. It's like a good decision. That's what these are called, decisions. Uh, this valuable wildlife refuge would be devastating by oil exploration. Yeah. Drilling this part of the country will not uh, entirely remove our dependence on foreign oil, but it will spoil our natu uh, natural environment for future generations. There you go. Boom. Keep you guys happy. Yeah, this is still very low. <laughs> Voting intention still very bad. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. What what do I want to do next? We are approaching that middle to our first term area. And we still have plenty of money. I mean, slowly, obviously, there's income. I still have an extra, like, billion I could invest in something. I just like the debt is still going down. Global economy is continuing to go up. But I wouldn't be surprised if we face a recession at some point. So HIV is what's killing health. We need to get this like all the way down. State health, private health, 
See, but I feel like if we invest in education, it's going to do both of those things for us. It's going to bring down AIDS uh, with time, as well as it's going to, you know, help with uh, workers. Let's um, let's go into some policies and try to get more people into school. Can we get more people into school? Is that a possibility? University, to be exact. But what is a school vouchers? A measure designed to encourage the growth of private schooling. Uh, that's not a bad idea, right? To This is a different approach to pure state schooling because the school tax credit, the schools are privately run and the teachers are no longer uh, state employees. Oh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that then. I'm looking for like, well, let's see here. What am I looking like? Welfare. Human rights oversight, family planning. Uh, that does need to be changed, but by allocating resources to this ban enforcement, its uh, impact will be deeper and more rapidly felt. Hmm. I don't like that. Food stamps is probably really good. But did I go in here? Did I go into the policy ideas to enact food stamps? I didn't. But food stamps is a system where the state will uh, issue vouchers. Okay, and like giving a straight cash and benefit, preventing them from being able to uh, for unhealthy takeaway foods. Ah, so this would help uh, health. Supporters see food stamps as a valuable way to ensure nobody goes goes hungry, no matter what their income is. Patronizing and no more than paper over the cracks caused by free market. Uh, I'm gonna I think we're gonna go with food stamps Even though I didn't come in here to worry about food stamps Hmm the, Why why Ooh, no private prisons? Um, why where are all the the schools public school services? I guess like where's all the Besides the school, the the school voucher, public libraries is probably not a bad idea. To those on low incomes and enabling people to learn new skills outside of the normal education establishment. Uh, if our education is bad, that might be a good idea. It, it's very popular. It doesn't cost us that much. Implemented with over four quarters. This takes four quarters. That's a long time. I wonder if we have that much time. Food stamps go in immediately. It's just as cheap. I'm going to do it. We're going to go food stamps here. So poverty will be... Uh, poverty increases. I'm sorry, poverty decreases. The poor, likes the, the poor like this. Health goes up a little bit, but not by much. I'll do about 25 billion socialists like this. I'm going to do about 25 billion into this. We're going to go food stamps, stamps at the maximum. Let's do it. Bam. Apply. I still have a lot of political capital. Considering maybe doing a little bit more. Also, this I, I missed out on, I think, two videos ago. Uh, I thought this was a tax on marriage, but it actually keeps people married. And, and religious people are going to really like that. Um, school tax credits system. Potential costs. System uh, encourages people to spend their money on private education. I don't know if I want people to spend spend their money on private education. I want people. I want to continue to give people jobs, state jobs. So, I don't think that that would be technology colleges. Uh, people don't care about that. Free school meals. That doesn't cost that much. Not only are free meals a way of redistributing wealth, but they're encouraging uh, everyone can afford to feed their children are people really going to sleep hungry though Healthcare vouchers i think i might wait before i enact any of this stuff law and order crime is not a big deal right now so i i'm not i'm not super worried about it uh, maybe state housing to be honest some citizens prefer to own their own homes uh, but the cost of housing is such that a large portion of yeah, this would reduce uh, homelessness. I think I'm going to do this now. This is going to be expensive. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so expensive. I'm not going to spend that much. <sighs> okay, we might need to find a new way to get some money. But I I'm going to apply this and uh, we're going to go next turn. Oh man, 
I don't know how I'm gonna sp how I'm gonna pay for that. <laughs> Uncovered uh, operatives have infiltrated. Wait, what? Is committed to striking. Okay, there's no imminent danger, but we should keep. Th thanks for the advice. Thank you. Poverty has gone down. Look at that. That's good. Unemployment has gone down. We just need to fix health now. Okay. I also might need to make someone happy about the whole, you know, environment thing. Because <laughs> apparently environmentalists are really not happy about this. Okay, so luxury... What is this? Brain drain. Our tax system is encouraging the best and brightest uh, entrepreneurs to leave the country uh, altogether and make money elsewhere. As a result, we are losing out both uh, on their knowledge and skills, also the potential tax revenue from them and their companies. Ugh, this may be a sign that we are overtaxing the wealthy and successful. Yeah, I'm sure that, I'm sure we are. I, I just talked about how I was probably going to need more. Well, I mean, I'm still, I'm ex obviously I'm going to be spending more. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, oh, well, what am I, what do I have to, private citizens database. Let's see, a law to increase the available information held on databases about uh, citizens without their knowledge. Ooh. Uh, nobody likes the idea of government holding information about them, but some circumstances, this needs to be done. Uh, how's everybody feeling about me? Better. Better. I don't know why percentage of the entire electorate who intend to vote for you. Why is it still so low if I'm having... I'm have, I got people in the green now. Socialists really like this. Some of the problems are, are being fixed, right? Kind of. Okay, well, we need to we need to get rich people back. It's essential that we have... Oh, wait a second. What's uh, what's my assassinate, assassination plot looking like? This is going up and up. The land army. Threat assessment. Hmm. If I were to enact this... I think it's less likely that I get assassinated. Passing this law will just make it harder for the intelligence services to keep a watch on serious criminals and terrorists. It will also affect a large number of business businesses who have customer databases who will be swamped and yet more bureaucracy. Uh, okay, then never mind. Proposal Freedom Act. It's essential that we have this law passed as it is one of checks and balances required. In any true free society, the average law-abiding citizen should not be spied on. Okay, hopefully this makes people happy. Even though it might get me killed. <laughs> Let's figure out what we can do about the, the people leaving. And the only thing I think of is decreasing the income tax. Or I could decrease the mansion tax. Socialists are not going to like this, but... I don't want to decrease it. Where's medium at? Okay, let's get it to low. Let's do that. Apply changes. And I probably need to do something environmental-wise. I probably... Where's the environmentalists? Pollution would help out the health anyways. I mean, pollution is affecting health. That's what I mean. So if we fix this, then that would fix, I think, a lot of people's issues as well as asthma the asthma epidemic uh anyways guys i'm gonna stop right there thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time